Let's begin a discussion about oxalates. I'm going to tell you what I know, and maybe you can send in your suggestions of what your experience has been. Basically, oxalates are a natural compound that are found in many, many foods, in wholesome foods. They in no way mean that that food is bad because it has oxalates in it. And in fact, the body naturally can handle those oxalates and they're usually processed by certain gut bacteria. Now there are some, visual, some individuals that apparently don't have the proper gut bacteria and these oxalates can accumulate and cause some crystal problems. Kidney stones, of course, are a major problem that's related to oxalate. And if you have a kidney stone, you want your doctor to do a kidney stone urine analysis. They'll check for the amount of oxalate, the amount of magnesium, the amount of citric acid, all these nutrients that relate to imbalances that create these kidney stones. So we can understand oxalate is related to kidney stones, and we always say for everyone drinking plenty of water, still staying well hydrated is one way to prevent kidney stones. But for people who are worried about oxalate, like grabbing their minerals and, and, and keeping their absorb and, and binding the minerals, that's true, but only to the extent that like spinach has oxalates in it. So you probably don't absorb that calcium from the spinach because of the oxalate. It doesn't mean that it's going to grab other calcium around the body and cause you not to absorb it or other minerals. So I guess what I'm saying is that oxalates are generally not a problem for the average person. If you think you have a problem with oxalates, if you're super sensitive, or if you've had kidney stones, then it's a good attention to pay attention to the gut flora, to your overall eating patterns. And if you find avoiding foods with oxalate is helpful, I, that would be interesting to hear about it. And there, I certainly think there may be some sensitive individuals where that's a problem. But as a whole, in our clinical practice, we have not seen it. We do not see it very much. Uh, and whenever we see kidney stones, we pay attention to have a complete panel to find out what the cause, and there's many nutritional therapies to help reduce the incidence of kidney stones. Send me your comments, your experience. If you like, we can have a dialogue about oxalate, and I can talk with some of my consultants who may know more about it than I do, but I certainly don't see it to be a serious issue in most of all the cases I see.